Hello everybody. Today we are going to see how to set up a CMS developed on Code Igniter for framework. This CMS working with um, uh, WordPress also. So we use WordPress here just to do authentication and the user related module. Then we will be using the um, WordPress uh, functionality to log in uh, and uh, get the user details, user privilege and all. So currently I'm going to show you how to deploy a WordPress website and how to uh, configure this uh, CMS develop on Code Igniter. So let's see, first we will download this WordPress. So go to wordpress.org uh, download, then uh, copy this one, uh, zip file, copy link address, then simply double get command, enter. So it will download that one. This is downloaded as latest.zip then unzip latest So we downloaded uh, and extracted the WordPress I'm going to rename the WordPress into my project name so I named the CMS as Venera Additionally, to, to make sure that uh, there is no blockers to installation, I am going to give 777 permission. It is not the correct way, but for a quick installation, we are going with that one. Then my project, uh, the CMS available in this uh, another folder, so that uh, will be shared to you. It's called CMS and if you see there it is code igniter for setup so I'm going to copy that also inside this folder CP I had to put uh, minus R because it is a folder then it will be moved to this folder Venera folder right while it is copying I will show you one more function here so there is another tutorial available how to set up PHP, Apache and MySQL on a server uh, we are using uh, AWS uh, uh, Ubuntu instant uh, 1 GB RAM and uh, 1 processing unit uh, minimum needed uh, then uh, we have to set up Apache, PHP and uh, uh, MySQL according to this guide there is a video link I will share after that one uh, make sure this particular one installed because this is needed for code igniter 4 so just run this uh, uh, installation command to get php intl uh, so there won't be an error error when we are executing now Now I am going to start the installation. So this is a URL I am using currently. I had to go to the base URL and run it. So it will prompt for the login details or database and all. Before doing that I need to create a database. So these are the login details temporarily I am using for the demo purpose. So I will be logging into the MySQL. So there is no database for this particular purpose. I created that and it is available here. Right. Now I will be setting up the WordPress. database name username password and it is local host make sure wp underscore is there because this is a table name structure utilized by the CMS so I'm going to give the details then 
username password these are five so when I click it will populate the database with all those tables now they were asking for the title for site this is WordPress matter username and password I had to give so I'm going to give some easy username password so we can use it on the um, demo time currently we don't have SMTP configured so it won't send mail uh, next thing is we are discouraging from search engine indexing so install WordPress it will be done login take ops and this is a password once we done this one we will go to CMS and see whether it's working most probably it will throw error yeah because the database is not populated to populate the database just uh, carefully follow the URL so this is our base URL then after that CMS is the code igniter project base URL with WordPress then public under the public folder only our project available then use this migrate so after go to migrate it will create all the DB so before that I wanted to show you so only WordPress related uh, tables are available so once we run this one there will be more tables so just carefully see there are 12 uh, tables only there so we are going to have around 40 tables migrate not throwing any error it gone successfully now we'll come to the project and see there will be error message uh, normally when I try to add something so because the data not available so I need to populate data as well before that we'll see what are the tables available so there are 40 tables created this migration is belong to code igniter so it is re keeping the reference in this way if we are deploying our new version release and all will be automatically available that's why we are following this one so after that we have to run this uh, three command so why by running these three commands we will populate the necessary data so tables are already created we are going to populate necessary data so that error message we are seeing will disappear after this one right now this error message won't be there after that create some account then go to the we have to select the account and also now this is fine actually additionally I want to show some configurations yeah. So in this place, not this test block, go to the first block default. There gives the username, localhost, so host name, username, password and the database name to connect to this DB. Make sure this is correct. Then additional configuration available, uh, any path or based URL related one in the apps.php so base URL given here give the path up to public so that is done then additionally we need to check the public folder so public folder index.php in the first line make sure in this line 
correct WordPress path is given. So just if you copy this path, this is currently available, give the correct path, otherwise it won't work. That's all, the setup is ready and we can use the tool. Thank you.